Hello theatre lovers, welcome to another special occasion with us at Narodni Divarle Brno. Today we celebrate 100 years of our beloved ballet NDB. Now to commemorate this incredible milestone, we are throwing an international star-studded ballet gala right here in our gorgeous Janacek Theatre. Now, stay tuned as I take you around the theatre so that we can see what the 100 fuss is all about. I'm standing next to Mr. Cesar Corrales, first soloist of the Royal Ballet. Cesar, welcome to Brno. Thank you very much, it's great to be here. Now Cesar, classical ballet is seen as a physical, artistic and complicated art form. Which aspect of it do you relate to the most? Well, I honestly relate to every single bit of it. Um, if it wasn't for the whole, you know, art form and the way that, uh, that it's, you know, done up, I could just be indifferent, you know, I can be a gymnast or uh, an <laughs> actor, but ballet has it all. So yeah. that's why I, I chose ballet and I, I love ballet very much. Oh, that is fantastic. Now, for many of us artists, classical ballet has changed our lives. How has ballet shaped your life? Well, my parents were professional ballet dancers, so uh, for me, it's you know, it's always been part of my life, and I kind of knew that it was always going to have something to do in my life. But um, from here on, I think it's like a great platform to be able to you know do bigger things Absolutely. and other things. So uh, I think that's how it's uh, changed my life. Oh well, we are thrilled to have you here with Ballet NDB, and I hope that this is the first of many occasions. <laughs> yes, me too. Thank you so much. So good luck for your performance, and I'll see you on stage. Thank Thank you. <laughs> well, you heard it all from Mr. Corrales. Let's keep going. We are about to speak to Mr. Aider Akhmetov, all the way from Russia. He's a friend of Ballet NDB, an incredible ballet master, and also general director of two prominent schools in Moscow. We ask him the question, how ballet has managed to survive over years and years, seeing theatres sell out incredible performances. Good evening. I'm glad to be in the NDB Ballet and to participate в гала-концерте столетия балетной трупы Очень хорошая компания. Мне очень сюда нравится приезжать. Очень хорошие артисты, очень хороший директор Марио Радачев. Балет в Брно очень хороший. Мне очень нравится, очень хороший театр. И я думаю, балет будет только развиваться и будет идти вперед. И в финансовом плане, и в плане... Так что сегодня 100 лет балету. Поздравляю и спасибо. I'm now standing next to one of my favorite ballerinas, living icon, Lucia Lacara. Now, Lucia, you are known all over the world for being an incredible ballerina. What is the secret to your longevity? I think it's simply pure vocation. I've never wanted to do anything else in my life. I wanted to dance since I'm a baby, basically. And I just love, I love what I do. And I, I also think that I still feel right now like I felt when I was 15 years old. I wow. have the same passion, I have the same will, I have the same discipline also when you need to work. And I just, you know, I, I, I love what I do and I like experimenting, I like doing new things. I like evolving also yeah. as a person, you know, as a human being, you evolve through times. Yeah. And I like to use that also in my work. So I change a lot of repertoire and I, I always try to challenge myself too. Because I think that if you want to surprise people, you have to first surprise yourself. Of course. Yeah. Well, that is wonderful. Now, I know for certain there are many young ballerinas who wish to have a career as fruitful and as magical as yours. If you could give them some words of advice, what would that be? First, they need to love what they do. And then one of the most valuable things I think anybody should remember is that we're all different. 
Mm-hmm. And by de- being different, you are unique. Mm-hmm. You should never try to copy what others do. You should never try to compete with other dancers mm-hmm. because the, your strength actually is to be yourself and nobody's going to be you as good as you, yourself. And I think that's important because you have to use your, your good things and your bad things and make, make it a whole package, make it a unique package. And try to be the best of yourself is, is the best thing and mostly enjoy. Uh, if you don't enjoy this, it's too, it's too difficult, it's yeah, too hard, yeah, it's, it's too complicated. Mm-hmm. So you need to enjoy each second that you spend in a studio and on stage. Uh-huh. It's the only thing to remember, really. I'm going to really take that into my life. Thank you so much for being an inspiration to all of us, for being an incredible talent and someone that I will personally never forget for the rest of my life. So I wish you a fantastic performance and we'll see you on stage. Thank you so much. Now you heard it all from the incredible and incomparable Lucia Lacara. I'm standing next to the incredible Mr. Matthew Golding. Matthew, welcome. All right, thank you for having me. Now tonight, we are celebrating 100 years of ballet NDB. How do you think the role of the male ballet dancer has evolved since 100 years ago versus today? Wow, 100th years. Congratulations. Thank you. And um, as a male dancer, um, the field is bigger. Um, equality, I guess, for everyone is that, you know, we all have the chance to show ourselves. And before, it was more about the female ballerina. And respect to that, it's still about that. As a male dancer, we are a partner for the female um, on stage. And that allows us now to also show our variations and, and express um, the importance of the male variation, the male form. And I guess, yeah, it has evolved quite, quite a lot in 100 years. Yeah. Um, and now we have a lot of young budding ballet boys. They all want to be future Matthew Goldings. <laughs> if you could advise them, what is it that they should work on? and what is not important to sustain a career like yours? That's a good question. I'm I'm still also uh, constantly figuring it out and I guess to say to that, the more places you go, um, the more chances you have to uh, see different dancers, different forms of dance and and open your eyes. And uh, Any young dancer um, striving to attain their dreams, I would say trust yourself um, believe in yourself and, and also the importance is that your teachers are, are there to really, they're your connection into the next level of, of your talent and how to develop yourself. You really need to trust uh, as well your coach and your teachers. So uh, patience is a virtue, they say. Yeah. <gasps> We will have to take your word for that. (laughs) But anyway, thank you so much for being here with us tonight. It's a very special occasion. And of course, we look forward to seeing you on stage. So have a great performance. Thank you. Tonight's program includes some excerpts from iconic ballets, with the evening concluding with a performance by Ballet NDB, performing one of my favorite ballets titled Gnawa by Nacho Duarto. For now, let me take you backstage so that we can catch some of the action. I'm now in the changing room of one of my favorite people, Miss Natasha Mayer. She is one of the youngest ever ballerinas of the Vienna Staatsoper. Hello, Natasha. Hello. <laughs> so tell me, what are you going to be performing for us tonight? Well, tonight we perform Donizetti Parade. I'm dancing with Davide Dato, and it's the choreography of Manuel Legri, who is our director. Oh, wow. That's yes. gorgeous. So this is your costume, I take it? Yes. Oh wow, this is really, really beautiful. Some colors. (laughs) I can see, I think this is one of your special things that you get to perform around the world, isn't it? Yes, because there's not a lot of people performing it. And I really like it because it's very different and it's very exciting. Yeah. So I'm looking forward. I also look forward to seeing that. So tell us, do you have some kind of special routine that you do before you go on stage? I mean, usually like the hours before, I just like to take my time, do my makeup, my hair, have some coffee, (laughs) and then I warm up, you know, put my point shoes, 
the usual the usual the, <laughs> the usual. usual try oh. some stuff before the show on stage to get used to it but yeah yeah no this is this is fantastic now you are really making history as being one of the youngest ballerinas in Vienna if you had to give advice to young ballerinas out there Brno in China and Korea somewhere that want to be just like you what would that advice be I think I would say always be positive like we all have bad days but you always need to like keep a clear mind be nice to each other because there's no point like treating each other bad so if you keep that attitude and if you always like make the best out of each day and just compete against yourself mainly then I think it's the best way to do it. Oh, that's amazing. Well, you know, I'm team hashtag positivity. So I love that. <laughs> so we look forward to seeing you on stage and I wish you a fantastic performance. Thank you. I'm now sitting next to Mr. Davide Dato, one of the principal ballet dancers from Vienna Staatsoper. Davide, welcome. Thank you. Now, slowly, the male ballet dancer is moving forward on the stage and having an iconic place. What do you think makes the male ballet dancer such an iconic, special figure in ballet? Well, we always think of ballet like uh, a sport or an art for girls, and we always think about ballerinas in tutu, but in reality, there are great male dancers around the world, and since the Nureyev, probably the, the position of the man in ballet uh, definitely got a bigger place. Mm -hmm. And I think a dancer's body can be so strong and at the same time express so much energy, even much more than a football player or a sport that you always think it's more for a male. Absolutely. So I think it's great if men get a bigger place in the ballet world. Everything is a man's world. Don't tell that to the girls. <laughs> so tonight you are going to be performing Don and Zetti yes. by Mr. Manuel Legri. Yes. What are some of the challenges in this piece? Well, the, the, the piece in general, it's very hard. So it's a challenge. They all think. It's very hard for the stamina, it's uh, very musical and it's uh, really effective. Uh, we've got special costumes, very colorful, which is not really usual mm -hmm. for ballet paradors. And I danced many times, but every time is really a challenge. So I'm really excited to see how it will go tonight. Oh, well, I wish you a uh, toy, toy, toy. I know you're going to be amazing because no, you are you. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we'll leave you to get dressed and I'll yeah. see you on stage. Thank you. See you. I'm in the changing room with a very special dancer. Her name is Sarah Lamb. She is a principal dancer with the Royal Ballet in London. Hello, Sarah. Hi. What are you going to be performing for us tonight? I'm dancing the Pas de Deux from Le Corsair, which oh. is, uh, in translation to English, the pirate. So it's really more of a vehicle for the male dancer. And I'm fortunate to be dancing with Cesar Corrales, who is an absolutely stunning young talent. and. Uh, this pas de deux was, of course, made very famous by such wonderful dancers as Rudolf Nureyev and Mikhail Burzhnikov. Um, I mean, countless dancers have interpreted this role. Most ballets concentrate on the female, which uh, we have Swan Lake or we have Giselle or the Sleeping Beauty. But I think Le Corsair is more of a vehicle for the male dancer. Mm -hmm. uh, but tonight I get to wear a very special costume because it was a gift from uh, prima ballerina of the Marinsky Theatre, oh, wow. Tatiana Terakova. Oh, and wow. So it, this uh, costume that I'm wearing has her name in it still and it's really quite dear to me. So it's just a wonderful opportunity to feel like I have um, you know, a loving teacher very close to me. Oh wow, that is really, that is so <laughs> sweet and that is so special. It is. I really... know you're going to be stunning. I know you're going to be oh, absolutely fantastic. <laughs> now, being an ambassador for such a prominent brand as the Royal Ballet, do you ever feel some kind of pressure when you go on stage and perform around the world? Absolutely. I think any dancer feels pressure uh, anytime being on stage, no matter uh, whom you represent. But I do believe that there is even more pressure being in the Royal Ballet. And uh, it's inevitable, I think any performer in theater or in athletics even has a, 
an incredible amount of pressure on them and Absolutely. we just uh, we have to deal with it and some of us do it better than others <laughs> yes you certainly do but anyway i think it's absolutely amazing to have a dancer of your caliber here with us here in Brno. So we are very grateful to you for sharing your talent with our people. And I hope that this is the first of many occasions. I do as well. This is a really wonderful atmosphere, atmosphere here in the theater and people are incredibly kind and generous and uh, it's a really lovely theater. So I hope to be on the stage um, many more times. Thank you so much and toy 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 for tonight. Thank you. I'm standing next to the man of the hour, my incredible artistic director, Mr. Mario Radachowski. Now, Mario, tonight is another incredible milestone for ballet NDB, 100 years. What are your hopes and future plans for ballet NDB? Well, a very good question as always. Uh, you know, my future plans are to continue what we are keep doing. You know, just to be honest, what we do, work hard, perhaps even harder, mm -hmm. who knows, get people, the best people, not only to do things what they've been done, but start to create on us, because I think we are capable to, you know, to surprise people when things are created on us, and we can be excellent company, I'm more than happy, more than sure of that, I mean, there is no doubt in that sense, because, you know, if, you, if, you put, if I put myself or our company to comparison in certain things, we are good in many aspects. Of yes, course. there are some elements which, which we are not struggling, we have to improve or we have to work on. Mm -hmm. But, you know, over the years, I think we are on the right track. I mean, uh, so my hope is to we stay healthy, passionate, uh, positive, mm -hmm. and actually start to worry about, about, you know, this vision to open ourselves to world, mm -hmm. not to vision to be regional. Yes. And who knows what happens? <laughs> well, I know what's going to happen. We're going to get better and better and better <laughs> till another so 200 we years. Have to, we have to stay with us for <laughs> longer, longer, longer. I will. Now, from me as a dancer and a member of this company, we are all very grateful to you for spreading yourself, for taking risks, taking chances, and expect, expanding not only the theater, but our personal capacity. So you've done a wonderful job, and I hope that you're going to lead us into our next millennium with NDB. Well, I hope so too. I mean, who knows? I mean, um, I, I'm really, I'm really honored to be in that particular moment of this company. Mm -hmm. Because once future or history will kind of you know, we, we are part of the history at the moment yeah, and we're absolutely. creating the history at the moment. And as my mentor, I always keep saying about Mr. Killian and he said many things. He's very intelligent, of course, incredibly talented man. But he said always, we are responsible of the history of the future. Mm. And this is something very important to say, like what we are creating now in, at the same moment is already history. But that will stay, no, nobody can take it away from us. Absolutely. So we are part of very amazing moments and I'm so proud to be part of it as well. That's fantastic. Well, you've heard it from the director, Mr. Mario Radachowski. We are celebrating, we are a hundred years old tonight, so. <laughs> I'm standing next to one of my gorgeous colleagues, Miss Tiffany Bird. We are turning 100 years old, and you've been in the company for a while. What do you think makes Ballet NDB such a special place? I think the diversity of our company in terms of like all the international members mm -hmm. that we're come from so many different backgrounds, and also the diversity of our repertoire is dynamic absolutely to say in the least mm -hmm. and the fact that we're able to perform so many different types of dance as such a high quality is phenomenal I must second that you know being in ballet NDB has been 
almost like a United Nations gathering. We have people from all walks of life, from all countries, and it's absolutely beautiful to see how ballet can bring people together. Anyway, for now, let's go and have some champagne and celebrate 100 years of Brno. Yes, nastra <laughs> Tonight has been nothing short of stunning. Ballet NDB has certainly solidified its place in the international spectrum of the theatre world. Not for one, not for ten, but for 100 incredible years. I'd like to say thank you to all the people of Brno who have continuously supported our ballet company and for allowing us to be an integral part of your lives. Please make sure to follow all our social media outlets so that you never miss out on a single performance of Ballet NDB. Well, it's been a fantastic evening and I wish you all a fantastic night. From me, Teresa Mahongwa, until next time.